So what were uh, ultimately the factors that led us to cancel the, uh, the ATB Financial Classic here this week? Well, uh, this community right now is dealing with severe flooding and we felt that it wasn't appropriate for us to be playing golf when uh, all the communities are being affected the way they are. And uh, you know, the golf course was obviously saturated, but was that a, a factor as well or was it mostly the community? Well, the community comes first. Like I told the players, this week we are part of this community and uh, the best thing for us to do right now is, is to lend a hand if we can and uh, stay safe and, and make sure our volunteers and, and all tournament people are, are safe. And, and so for us, uh, golf was not very high on the list. Uh, lots of players uh, offering to get out in the community. What does it mean for you know, our players to be able to do that? Well, I think that's part of, I mean, that's what PGA Tour Canada is all about. It's what the PGA Tour is built on. Uh, and fortunately, the players this time, instead of having volunteers at the tournament for the players, the players become volunteers for the community. And it's a great story. And uh, I'm proud of our guys. Uh, the potential to try and play the ATB Financial Classic again later this year, we're looking into it? Yeah, we're looking into it. And, and I hope we can. What a great place for us to be. The golf course was in excellent shape before the rains hit. Uh, a great community for us to be a part of, and, and I'm looking forward to the opportunity to getting back. And we're hoping, you know, PGA Tour Canada can lend its support to the Calgary community in any way possible? Absolutely. Like I said, uh, we're part of this community, and, and we're going to help any way we can.